One very famous person on her own can cause quite a stir. But put two very famous people together and they somehow manage to disappear. Chris Martin and Dakota Johnson have been dating now for about six months, and although they were first spotted together just as award season was kicking into high gear and right before Johnson was about to embark on a press tour for 50 Shades Free Day aka a highly visible time they've proven to be a very low-key pair. Which isn't to be confused with casual. Rather, their relationship appears to be heating up, in plain sight but without anybody really noticing. In fact, they've already hit their first celeb couple milestone breakup rumors. After Johnson was spotted sharing a casual kiss with an unidentified male this week outside an upscale Los Angeles market, people were, of course, curious. What about Chris, after all? A source says the kiss was nothing more than an interaction between old friends, and she's still with Chris Martin and very happy. Meanwhile, she and the Coldplay frontman haven't been photographed together since early March, when they were tooling around Malibu in a golf cart together with Johnson's dog, Zeppelin, thereby fueling the speculation that maybe they had just fizzled. Which, most likely, is the sort of speculation they'd prefer at this point. The first romantic-looking sighting of Martin and Johnson came in January when they dined together at Soho House in West Hollywood, followed a few days later by a cozy-looking romp on the beach, also with Zeppelin. A couple nights after that they sorta went public, attending Stella McCartney's Women's Autumn 2018 and Men's Autumn slash Winter 2018 collections at Sir Studios in L. A. They didn't do a red carpet or purposely get their photo taken, but they did hold hands around fellow industry folks. The romance was still alive in February, with Diane Keaton spilling the beans that Johnson and Martin were at Ellen DeGeneres' Star Pack 60th birthday bash. My life has changed dramatically, Johnson continued. But there are times I feel lonely and then I just watch movies and read books and I'm happy I have the time to do those things. I cherish my solitude. At the time she was living primarily in New York, but now seems to be enjoying a West Coast-based relationship with Martin, who has homes in L. A. Where Paltrow is based with their kids, and New York, as well as in England. Since the movie she was promoting at the time was called How to Be Single, and she and Hit were currently off before being briefly on again ahead of their final split, Johnson was happy to talk about that subject instead of whether or not she was into SNM in real life. I think it's important for young women, especially now, to know that it's okay to explore the world and yourself without the pressures of other people's opinion on you, Johnson told The Telegraph. And it's important to expand your mind and do whatever you want with your brain and your time. There's less of a stigma about being single nowadays and I think society is relinquishing some of the pressures of needing to find a spouse. But the real message of the movie is that women should love themselves and take care of their hearts and their brains and also not feel bad about having a good time or experiencing different people and dating people. Having decided not to try online dating, she admitted it was kind of hard meeting new people. Johnson added, I haven't really been on a lot of dates. I've only been in long-term relationships. Right around that same time, coincidentally, Martin opened up to London Sunday Times about the aftermath of his divorce which was the object of much fascination for appearing so civil and admitted it had been a depressing turn of events. I still wake up down a lot of days, he admitted. But now I feel like I've been given the tools to turn it around. As they say, it's all in the timing with a major assist from being on the same page. Or as Chris Martin and Dakota Johnson would probably say, what page?